Okay. I'm going to go Bangladesh. Okay. I'm going to go in what? I had the Indian video. <laughs> that was mad, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, man. The in India is a crazy place. And you went to the other side of India. Kashmir. Kashmir. I don't think you want to go, but... Here with the mandem. Oh, we're about to get hit. <laughs> yeah, what's going on? What's going on? Tell them, Flacco, what's going on? So you're saying you're back in the country, yeah? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Back in the country, yeah. How does it feel to be home? Yeah. Yeah? What makes you feel weird, bro? I feel like an alien. Oh, as in, because you ain't been here in so long? I've not been here so long. I feel like an alien. It just feels so different. But uh, it's good to be here. It's good to see multiculturalists around here. Yeah. In the UK. So you just come back from your recent travels. Where yeah. have you been? I, I last saw you in Uganda in yeah. January. So I was in Uganda, Ethiopia, Kenya. And then after I was in, um, uh, where was that? Colombia, Venezuela. Oh wow, Colombia. So, How was Colombia? You gotta tell us a bit about that. Colombia was good, man. People How was the food? How was the culture? Culture's very good, people very social. It was, um, it's definitely, it's, it's definitely worth the trip. 100% is definitely well, On a scale of 1 to 10, what would you rate it? 10. 10? Oh, wow. And it's well, not as get... dangerous as what people think it is. What do you mean by dangerous? What's going on? Like the media says that Colombia is dangerous, they're going to rob you, they're going to kill you. Blah, blah. Mm. Everywhere is dangerous, the whole world is dangerous. But I definitely recommend people to go to Colombia and experience that Latin America's culture. Wow, where in Colombia should people visit? Medellin, Cartagena, Bogotá, Cali. Medellin, home of Pablo Escobar, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you yeah. go to his uh, house I or his neighborhood? Yeah, yeah. What uh, was the video's saying? gonna come out next week. Uh, okay. People very hospitable. Yeah. Some people not camera friendly. As in, what do you do? They see the camera and throw it out of your hand? No, they just don't like certain foreigners to come and to do certain stuff. Yeah. But like in general, uh, they're very hospitable, 9 out of 10. Okay, 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 okay. So they're actually show understanding. Yeah. Okay, okay. And they're, they're easy going on tourists. Yeah. So you just come from Brazil. How was that? So it was good, I had a transit, I had like a tour about transit in Brazil. Mm. And um, yeah, I had a tour about transit in Brazil, but it was very good. I definitely let people go to Brazil. Wow. Okay, so what's the next plan? What's going on? Yeah. Well, the next plan is to go to Bangladesh. Show Bangladesh. Hey, but it's in London, it's peak, but he's even got a head in 360 turns. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't break your neck now. Mute <laughs> you, you that, yeah? Yeah, yeah, of course. Cool. <laughs> Wow, but where in Bangladesh are you going? There's 150 uh, million people there. To the God, to God. Okay. I want to show people that black people can go to Bangladesh, Philippines. And then um, I want to go to Iraq as well. Oh, wow. I heard um, Bangladesh got the longest coastline in, Europe, in right. Asia. Is that true? Right. That's right. Oh, wow. so, what? Hey. Yeah, it's the longest. What would you say? Hot Bazaar? Say that uh, again? Hot Bazaar. It's the longest beach in, in, in Asia. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. okay. Alright, alright, alright. Now that makes sense. It actually makes sense. Okay, okay. So, what was I about to say, Flipping? You're going to Iraq. When in Iraq are you going? Uh, on when? Where and where? When? Yeah. When I'm going to go after, so basically I'm going to go to Bangladesh for two weeks, Philippines for a week, then Iraq for a week. So it's going to be next month, October. And then um, I want to go Baswa, Baghdad, Ooh. Uh, Kurdistan, and uh, Mosul, home of ISIS, former ISIS. Bruh, fam. But I'm not part of ISIS, yeah? Yeah, yeah, of course. But what I'm trying to say, what makes you want to go to Iraq? I thought they've still got like sectarian violence. I'm very spontaneous, so mm -hmm. I want to show people that. The spontaneity, yeah? That it's not as dangerous as what the media says it is, isn't it? All right, all right, yeah. all right. Are you, are you going with anyone? Are you going with people? No, solo. Yeah, we'll go with. Solo, solo, solo. Oh, you're going by yourself? Well, how do you build the courage to travel to these remote places by yourself? You know what, just, just out of curiosity. I just see certain people who go to these places. I so can cut the box and I'm like, you know what, if they can do it, what, what can I do? So, All right. Yeah. So no fear factor? Yeah, no fear factor. Okay. All right. How's it feel to be back in London? It feels good. How's it compared from the last time you were here? Very different. Gentrified. What, well, what's the definition of gentrified for the people that don't know? I don't know. It just feels weird. It just feels a lot of white people around here in Newham. Mm -hmm. Especially where we are in Stratford. Obviously, when money comes, yeah. things, things get changed. But it's, it seems okay. It seems very different. How do you think the locals are finding it? That the fact that the gentrification happened in the door? You know what? It's hopefully, benefiting them. hopefully, it's benefiting us in terms of uh, the Westfields giving us jobs. Mm -hmm. And the Stratford uh, cities giving us jobs. 
But apart from that, I don't really know. We just have to speak to the locals and, and find out. But so far, it seems okay. It seems, it seems okay. So did you miss about stuff? Did you miss about a lot of people? People, the multiculturalists, the food, mm -hmm. the energy, the nightlife, the culture. What makes London is the immigrants, you know, the, di the diversity that London has. All the immigrants are taking the jobs. We need the immigrants to, well, this country was built off immigrants. So what's going on? Uh, they need to stop people coming over through the boats? No, they got to make people, make people come over the boats because right now we're going through a recession. We've left the EU, so the, the jobs that are available, the average British person won't, won't do those jobs. Yeah, I guess so I'm literally the brother of Oh, shit. It's a fear. Oh, shit. Oh, shit.